So hi everybody, welcome back to another Jaguar in the Barn video. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is the new cover that I've got, um, which is this one over here. And the reason I've bought a cover is because yes, I've got a nice big bar to put my car in, but I parked this in here yesterday afternoon. And as you can see, hopefully all of this that's landed just on the bonnet, that's in one day. So my car does get pretty filthy. You might be able to pick it up on the roof because of the skylight, but there you go. Gets pretty filthy just sitting in here. So I've bought a car cover. And if you watched my last video, you would see that I had a couple of old sheets I'll put up here just to cover it to protect it now the trouble that is what i found when i took the sheet off um is if you used to get a bird dropping or whatever on there um it actually seeps through uh, seeps through the material and goes onto the paintwork so we need to try and eliminate that because otherwise particularly if you can leave it on for a period of time a month or two it will start staining and then possibly damaging the paintwork so we need something that's going to be waterproof in the loosest of terms. So I don't believe any of these covers are actually waterproof, um, but they're supposed to be kind of waterproof and a breathable fabric. But hopefully just because of the type of material it's made from, it will stop that from happening. So what did I get? So it's this one here. Car cover, ultralight, PEVA material. So I went for the, um, what it says on the label here, three times extra extra large um being tub of the dimensions there so it's 530 long 180 wide 120 tall um, i believe our cars are something like 4.7 or 4.8 meters long so i've given myself a bit of wiggle room just in case it's not the best quality and it rips <laughs> the first time i try and stretch it over so it is universal it's not made specifically for this car uh, but it's a great price point and we'll go into that later and I'll put a description in uh, all the items in the description below of where I bought it from and the costs of it, uh, etc. So we're going to take it out of the cover and um, see what it does. They've put obviously the shipping label straight on the bag, which is a bit annoying. Um, it's quite nice to keep the bag, and that's going to be a pain to get it off. It just rips. And the company, this is how it comes to me in the post. So it's not being put into a box or a bag or anything which is kind of good you know save the, the planet and all that but it doesn't protect it awfully well during shipping so here's the label itself made in china no surprise there um so yeah as it says there please keep the body clean exclusively used vehicle i don't, I don't know if that's translated as um, against the storm damage don't force sharp objects scratching let you sleep at night no longer concerned oh that's relief because i shall sleep well tonight then um, hopefully that will provide me with a better night's sleep than i always do but anyway high quality guarantee i'm not guaranteeing anything until we've actually uh put it on there's nothing on the back there so we'll take it out of the bag if i can one-handed so we can have a look exactly what we've got let's put it back on top so i'm guessing that's the outside yeah so the shiny silver is the outside surface and on the inside which is why i went for this particular cover it's got an almost soft cotton to the touch because it's not going to damage or scratch my paintwork. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unroll it and then look to put it on the car. So I'll set the camera up to do that. But before I do anything, I'll just give the car a wipe over with a microfiber cloth uh, before I put the cover on. So let me get one of those out and then we'll come straight back. So I've got myself a nice new Microsoft uh, microfiber cloth. I'm just going to give it a wipe over. Because we're not going to drag it all around the car when we put the cover on. So just apply gentle pressure. 
the top surface is. And just check the cloth regularly, just to make sure you're not picking up too much dirt to drag around everywhere. You can see how dirty it's coming off on the cloth, look. So we just fold that over again, give it a shake out. Do this other side. around the sides of the glass, just to get the worst of it off, over the roof, because if you don't clean it off now, all it's going to do is the cover will pick up the bits of dirt, so every time you put this cover on and off, it's just going to drag all those bits of dirt with it. So it is very important just to make sure it's clean. The best that you can do before putting your cover on, for any raised edges, that's where we're looking to take it off. The cover does have door pockets, so I don't think it's probably going to line up, but I may be wrong. Let's go to the windscreen. Okay, you see the dirt, hopefully that's coming off. Yeah, that's after one day. After one day drive. And sit in here for one night. Okay, right. That's all wiped down now with the uh, cloth. So we'll get the cover off, we'll lift it on the roof, and then we'll see how we go with it. So let's see if we can work this out. Sometimes it's a bit like a Chinese puzzle. Of where's the front or the back? I don't know, so just gently lay it on my bonnet for a moment and put it up over the car. So, as you see me trying to do it on my own on the back, <laughs> it's a lot harder than this one. Right, we want it in. No oh, blimey. Massive. Okay. I was looking to see if there's a label that says front or rear. I can't see one. See if I can find where the door pockets are. Stay. No, can't see no door pockets. Uh, sorry, the window pockets. 
Yes, and the stitched seam is going to be the roof line. So this is the stitched seam here and here. pictures it does have the wind mirror pockets but to be honest I was when I was looking for one I was looking for one without them because I knew they wouldn't fit but as it doesn't have them it makes no difference so that's it on the car now it's got some it's got a strap to go underneath it which I don't think I'm really going to need here to be fair So also, oh, there you go, let's have a look. So that's it on the car. I'm pretty pleased with that. It's lovely. You can see down on the side here, so I've got some ties, so I could tie it around the spoke of the wheel, I guess. There's one at the front there. Similarly, there's one here at the back. Let's do the same thing to tie onto the wheel. There's also a buckle, um, which would go underneath the car. So obviously the straps on the opposite side, just to secure it underneath, which you would use in an outdoor setting to stop it from blowing off in inclement weather. But I don't think I'm really, I'm going to need it here. But it's elasticated on the front and the back. So it tucks under the car nicely. And again, another tie down here. And that's the strap. So I bring it up into the light a bit, put it on the top of the car. So you can see there, the fastener, the other buckle is attached to the buckle already that's on that side. So I'd have to disconnect it from there, attach the buckle on there. And that would provide a little bit of weighted assistance to throw the strap under the car. Um, there's the other tie. So you could secure it pretty well to the vehicle. And I have got the um, power fold mirror option on the car. So I could always put the wing mirrors in if I want to. But again, in this particular setting, I don't think it's particularly required. So there you go. It's actually a pretty decent fit. Now, whether the smaller one, which I think comes in at 4.9, it's either 4.8 or 4.9 meters. It was very close to the actual length of the car, which is why I expect it up a size. Um, so that may have been a slightly tighter fit, but to be honest with you, that's a pretty decent fit 
all around, I would suggest. And if you're going to use it outdoors, what by the time you've tied it onto the wheels and put the strap over, or sorry, the strap under, I think it would be okay. So would you get away with a smaller one? Quite possibly. But for me, I think for the application that I want it for, which will be, you know, to just to keep it covered in the barn here. I think we've done okay. Now I'll check, but I only ordered it a couple of days ago. Um, from memory, I think I got it for, it was less than 20 pounds, put it that way, delivered from eBay UK. But I'll put a um, description, a link in the description below of where I bought it from. But obviously it's, just come out of the bag and put on the car. I wouldn't like to um, vouch for its quality in an outdoor setting over the winter months because that's not what I'm going to be using it for. But for what I'm going to use it for, I think it's spot on. So we can see there it's got a nice soft cottony, brushed cotton sort of feel to it to protect the paintwork. And this is the, one of the elastic hems on the front. Yeah, for my application inside the barn, I think it would do the trick. It'd be nice if I had a nice embossed Jaguar logo here, and then I can blag it as a custom Jaguar fit and charge a load of money for it, couldn't I? Maybe that could be part of my merch. <laughs> See details in my shop below. Yeah, right. Um, maybe, one day, you never know. Um, but there we go. So, yeah, I am uh, pleased with that. For, I say, at its price point, for under £20, um, it's probably cheaper than a new duvet set I'm going to have to replace <laughs> a lot with, to be honest with you, because I ripped the duvet cover in half to get the length on the car. But anyway, so there you go. So it comes with a bag, so I can keep it in the boot. Realistically, it'll probably never go back in, but we'll keep that. I'll try and take the uh, sticker off. But there you go. If you see this car cover, ultralight, PEVA material. There's the dimensions of it there. So 5.3 meters long, 1.8 meters wide, and 1.2 meters tall. 100% all weatherproof. Um, maybe, who knows? Uh, but if you can see that small text there, if it'll focus in, not quite. So two layer car cover. So it's double layered, I guess, obviously, with the inner layer and the outer layer. High quality guarantee. But of all the stuff that's written there, probably the uh, the top one is one that actually makes sense. So keep the body clean, particularly before you put the cover on, because we don't want that to attract all the dirt. So there we go. So just another short video for you. Um, what's the date today? So it's the 3rd of February today, 2022. Um, this is the day after I did my last video when I took you for a drive and was speaking about the coolant tower. Um, allegedly, my parts are going to arrive today. Um, but the way my shift pattern works, it's going to be next week uh, before I get an opportunity to get on it. So give us a week or so to get that sorted out and I shall post up again. Unless anything else interesting comes along, I will update you. But for now, thanks again for watching my channel. I really do appreciate everyone that views my videos particularly when you send me comments um, about what I'm doing and sending me some good tips as well and advice. So that is much appreciated. If you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe, hit the notification icon, and then you'll get uh, an alarm come up to tell you when my next videos are going to be coming up. So that's it for now. Get to look at me for a minute. Thank you so much again. I do really appreciate you watching the videos. Uh, once again, any questions, comments, please drop me a line and everything I've talked about today. So where I bought the cover from, the price, exactly what I paid for it. Um, I'll put in the description below a link to everything that I've bought. So take care, everyone. Thank you and goodbye.